Hello my lovelies, today I'm going to show you how to make cereal pancakes which I have seen all over the internet but I have not seen the gluten free version and if you're trying to live healthier you know gluten free is the way We're going to do it in a blender, we've got granola crushed and uncrushed uh, mixed nuts, salt, baking powder, sugar, cinnamon and then we've got some milk and melted butter here and one egg We'll put everything into the blender and blend it all together that's how simple it is. Don't blend it for too long because you don't want to over mix it because this will dry out your pancakes. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video for this and many more videos. Alright, this is a blended version which we're going to transfer into a Ziploc bag because I did not have a piping bag. You can use a piping bag which is best. And then you'll cut a very small hole at one of the corners and we're going to use a light spray. We're going the healthy way, remember? So you cut a very, very small hole so that you don't make a big pancake. And then you'll start piping into your pan. Don't overcrowd your pan because it will be very difficult to turn them. Once you see air bubbles on one side, turn it to the other side. And then check if both sides are cooked. If they're both cooked, it's ready to go out. With this recipe, you don't have to use granola, you can use oats. Oats are a great source of fiber, they're a weight loss booster, they've got important vitamins and minerals, and they're gluten free. We're cooking this on medium heat, therefore they're going to be cooked when they're both brown on both sides. If they're ready, you just remove them and put them aside, and then repeat the process with the rest of the butter. You can do different sizes just to get different textures in your cereal. Did you know? that oats were one of the first cereals discovered. I know, how ridiculous is that? That's why they're high in a lot of things because they were healthy to eat back in the day and you would have them as just one meal without having any other meal during the day. I use the same recipe for normal gluten-free pancakes. Therefore, don't feel like you've been limited into just making the cereal pancake. And you can also add a banana if you want. For me, I love the flavor of cinnamon. Therefore, I chose not to add banana because bananas are very strong in flavor and so is cinnamon. I did not want to mask the flavor of cinnamon. Once all the cereal pancakes are cooked, you can serve it however you want. As for me, I served mine with some butter, maple syrup, um, jam, and then on the side, I served it with a glass of milk. I did different sizes because I wanted different textures in my cereal because I'm a sucker for texture. Thank you for making pancakes with me. Bye bye. See you next time.